to have you back. You're watching TVC's Midday News. 24 persons, mostly women and children, were on Monday killed in a fresh crisis at Omusu Dimogu in the Okoku local government area of Benue State. The council chairman, Olofu Oguche, stated this while conducting the state governor, Samuel Otom, around the affected community on Tuesday. And I have in the studio with me a public affairs analyst, Yemi Saka, to share his thoughts on this very latest development. Thank you for joining me. It's nice to be here. Well, um, you know about the president going um, to this um, crisis-prone state, and he has been to Taraba State. Um, he is planning to go to Benue State. But in spite of this, these herdsmen are still attacking. So if the president of the country can warn against um, reprisal attacks and this continues to happen, what do you say about these herdsmen? Well, uh, it's, let's, let's get this fact straightened out. And it's like there's something, there's a constant um, factor, a recurring factor in these killings over the time. Yeah. It's men. People will tell us that we should stop stereotyping, if there's a word like that, Fulani, as a tribe, say Indeed. Fulani it's men. But I've never seen an Igbo man, an Igala man, a Yoruba man, or an Efik man who is a header. Mm. The, the common header you see around is a Fulani man. Indeed. So it's very bad for us to say Fulani heads men. And it's so sad because you always have these chains of killings and repressive killings if justice doesn't seem served. I don't care when you start from, but you must start. Justice must be seen or seem to be served. And that's what's happening right here. And you know, uh, let's go back a bit. Some months ago, in Abia State, there was Operation Python Dance mm. to restore, part, restore sanity in that region and probably deal with the threat of um, IPOB. Um, there's, a, there's an ongoing operation right now in Benue, Kogi, Taraba, Operation, um, I think, um, Ayem Akwatsuma, which means cats race. The cat so far has been raised and has not, has not caught any mouse. Mm -hmm. So you'll be asking yourself what is happening. Two weeks into the operation in Abia State, the recorded sources, two weeks into this operation right now in Benue State, killings are still going on. And what is happening? Well, 24 people were killed just this Monday, you yeah. know, and then there's going to be a mass burial for them tomorrow. That's Friday. Um, this will be the second mass burial taking place in Benue State. What is the significance of mass burials? Well, I, I think from, from a layman perspective is to halt the spread of epidemic. You have to deal with these cops on time and, you know, dispose them honorably and give them a decent burial as human beings. But it's so sad that Benue State, I think, I think it's three times now they have a mass burial. Mass burials? And mass burials, and it's, it's so desert now. For a commander-in-chief to sit down somewhere and tell us he, he receives intelligence reports daily and this killing, killings are still going on. That means is that the report, intelligence reports we're receiving is faulty or is not acting well enough? Well, this particular act was carried out after a peace meeting was allegedly called. Are we in any way at any point in time going to see the end of this? Well, I... I, I think this brings to fore again the call for restructuring, mm. and uh, because I, I would be, I believe if the Benue State Police Command is under the direct firm and um, control of the governor, the governor could secure his people better. I uh, that is one thing. Secondly, we should stop this argument that people push forward or put forward that it's a repressive attack for the killings or probably cattle rustling. And I ask, but people are forgetting one fundamental thing. If I'm not in the cattle business, I probably would not know the value of cattle or cows for me to come rustle and go sell in the market. That means it probably people rustling these cattle are people in that business. Mm. And people in that business are predominantly full of it. So they should look within themselves, among themselves, and fish them up. Then secondly... We keep having people say that. I know. There's another, there's another offensive argument they put forward that because they have to repress our tax for their cattle. I don't see who value a cattle life more Over than human, human, human life. life. That is one. The secondly... That is not the root cause. I cannot cultivate my farmland for six months, nine months. And some guys just comes there with their cattle, just destroy my farmland just a week or two for before harvest. And you probably want me to fold my hands. It's normal for people to react. I'm not justifying any crime here. Yeah. But so let's look at the root cause of it. It's not even the repressor killings for the cattle. It's the, ca it's the, it's the killing that is the probably an act that's triggered off by you invading somebody's farmland. That's is it. They should. It's, it's a big business, cattle business. Build a ranch. You don't expect the government to spoon feed you at every turn. Government is not Red Cross or a bazaar giving organization. Um, this particular attack on Monday, it took place in broad daylight right. between the hours of 2 and 3 p.m. And then you would, you would ask yourself, 
by now, shouldn't every community have security guarding the residents? I know that you have just said to me um, something about restructuring, and I know what you're proposing is state police. Police, yeah. But yeah, be beyond that, right now, the structure in place. Have, yeah, the structure in place should have security to guard the community. No, you see, it's on paper that people say the governor's chief security officer of the state. It's just on paper. Mm -hmm. Even if it's someone who has daily security briefings and what have you, the, I, the CP will receive his, info, his orders from the IGP and the IGP from the president. It doesn't have any control over the police. Then you now ask yourself a question. Because of the military operation, you can, it's safe to say, Benue Street is militarized. So how come an attack brought the light and no security presence before it, before it, it happened or why it was happening to curb it or deal with it or contain it. And very quickly now, this senseless and very audacious killing. Um, cows are maimed and then human beings are killed. Uh, uh, what emboldens these herdsmen and why haven't they been apprehended? Because they've been, they've been treated like special ones in this country. I, there were times that um, some statement was credited to the Mieti Hala and still working in Freeman. Mm. In a, my choice of in a sense society and a government that means business, the guy would be behind bars. And Mieti Hala and probably Fulani Esme would be classified as terrorist organization. Mm. Simple. Yemi Saka, public affairs analyst, thank you for joining me on TVC Media. You're welcome.